Our story begins on a clear and beautiful night, the 26th of December, 2001, in County Limerick, Ireland. As the rest of the world was shaking off the holiday cheer, a retired carpenter named Jerry Battles was about to have an encounter that would forever change his life. Jerry, a man of wood and nails, was no stranger to the unexpected, but nothing could have prepared him for what was about to happen. As the stars twinkled in the Irish sky, a bright light at the end of a laneway caught Jerry's attention. Not a car's headlight or a distant lantern, but a light so radiant it seemed to pull him in. Curiosity peaked, Jerry felt an inexplicable urge to follow this light. Like a moth drawn to a flame he found himself walking towards it, his heart pounding with a mix of fear and excitement. The air was still, the only sound was the crunch of his boots on the gravel. As he neared the light grew brighter, more intense. Little did he know, as he stepped closer to the source of the light, he was stepping closer to an event that would leave him and the world questioning the unknown. Drawn towards the light, Jerry was about to stumble into an experience of a lifetime. As Jerry approached the light, it soon became clear that this was no earthly glow. This was something otherworldly, something that defied everything he had known until then. Drawn to the ethereal brilliance, he stepped into a realm that seemed to be extracted straight from the realms of science fiction. Upon entering the spacecraft, he was met with an eerily silent tableau. Forty males, varying in ages, stood motionless, their eyes glazed as if in a trance. The air was thick with an inexplicable tension, the silence echoing the unspoken questions that hung in the air. Then he saw it, the being that had perhaps orchestrated this strange symphony. It was an extraterrestrial entity, its appearance as far from human as one could imagine. The creature possessed a cone-shaped head, an architectural marvel that housed a mind capable of traversing the cosmos. Its eyes were large, almost disproportionate to its face, pools of obsidian that seemed to hold a universe of their own. The eyes, though alien, held a depth that was almost hauntingly familiar. The being was not threatening, but its presence was undoubtedly overwhelming. It was a testament to an intelligence that was light years ahead of humanity's comprehension. A glimpse into a reality that was as fascinating as it was intimidating. As Jerry stood there, amidst the silence and the still figures, he felt a connection, an invisible thread that seemed to link him with the extraterrestrial. There were no words, no spoken language that filled the air. The communication was far more profound, far more intimate. It was a conversation of minds, a dialogue of thoughts. Suddenly Jerry found himself communicating with the alien, not by words, but through thoughts. Jerry's encounter took an unexpected turn as the alien fulfilled a wish he hadn't even voiced yet. Suddenly Jerry found himself whisked away on an interstellar journey. The spacecraft, a marvel of extraterrestrial engineering, hummed softly as it glided through the cosmos, carrying him to the icy wilderness of the North Pole. Imagine, if you will, a simple carpenter from Limerick, Ireland, suddenly finding himself in the icy embrace of the Arctic. The polar ice caps, a spectacle of nature's grandeur, shimmered under the otherworldly glow of the spacecraft's lights. A sight few humans have ever witnessed, and fewer still from such an extraordinary vantage point. The alien, with its cone-shaped head and large eyes, served as Jerry's silent tour guide. No words were spoken, yet a profound understanding was shared. They floated above the Earth, in a world where the rules of time and space seemed to bend and warp. Jerry was in awe, captivated by the beauty and mystery of it all. It was an experience that transcended earthly comprehension, a glimpse into the wonders that lie beyond our blue planet. Little did Jerry know, the journey was just beginning. The alien had more to share with Jerry than just extraordinary sights. Imagine, if you will, a being who claims to be four million light years more advanced than us. It's a stretch, isn't it? But that's exactly what this extraterrestrial revealed to our Irish friend. The being warned Jerry of an asteroid the size of Munster, a region in Ireland that would end the world in a distant future, about 850 years from now. Now, this is where the story takes a more ominous turn. Besides the threat of an asteroid, the alien had some stern words about us, the human race. It criticized our behavior, pointing out our faults, our follies, it voiced a disapproval of how we treat each other and our planet. The alien saw our potential, our capacity for greatness, but also our propensity for destruction. But it didn't stop there. The alien also warned Jerry of an impending global financial crisis. A crisis that would shake the very foundations of our economies, disrupt our societies, and change the course of our history. 
The details, however, remain unclear. Was it a criticism of our financial systems, our reliance on money, our greed? Or was it a prophecy, a forewarning of a disaster yet to come? These warnings, these words of criticism, they were not just idle chatter. They were a plea, a call to action. The alien was not just a visitor carrying a warning from a civilization far more advanced than ours. It was a wake-up call, a reminder that we need to change, to evolve, to do better. With his head filled with warnings and wonders, Jerry's extraordinary journey ended as abruptly as it began. Jerry returned to his everyday life but with a story that was anything but ordinary. In the days following this extraordinary encounter, Jerry continued his routine yet there was a sense that something had fundamentally changed. His mind was haunted by the memory of the alien encounter but it was fuzzy, fragmented. The full account of that fateful night didn't come back to him all at once. The key that unlocked Jerry's memory was as unusual as the story itself. It was his coat. Jerry found it, not in his house or his workshop, but on the rooftop of a hospital several weeks later. A place he had no recollection of visiting. The sight of the familiar garment, oddly misplaced, acted as a catalyst, and the memories of that night flooded back. The bright light, the spaceship, the silent men, and the alien with large eyes and a cone-shaped head, it all came rushing back to him in vivid detail. But Jerry was not merely content with remembering. He believed that his story held significance far beyond his personal experience. He saw it as a potential tool for uncovering the mysteries of the universe. His encounter with the extraterrestrial, who claimed to be from a civilization four million light years more advanced than humans, provided a glimpse into the possibilities of what could be out there in the distant galaxies. He began to share his story, not as a mere anecdote of personal interest, but as a profound message. A message from a civilization far more advanced than ours. A message that could possibly guide us in our own journey of understanding the universe and our place in it. Jerry Battles, a simple carpenter, had become the carrier of a message from beyond the stars. Jerry's story leaves us with more questions than answers. Is it a tale spun by a retired carpenter with a vivid imagination, or a cryptic message from beings light years ahead of us? If it's the latter, what could be the implications for us, for humanity? We find ourselves grappling with the intricacies of Jerry's account. What could be the purpose of these extraterrestrials visiting us? Could it be a benign interest in our species, or does it hint at an impending intervention? The alleged warning about an asteroid and a global financial crisis, coming from a being claiming to be four million light years advanced, is unsettling. If true, it raises the question of what more they know about us and our future. And then, there's the mystery of the coat found on the hospital rooftop, a mere coincidence or a trace of a journey beyond our world. 